I'm Bowling Otter. And I'm Lissy Sandwich. And welcome to the BS on the Internet. Well, it's been another one of those weeks. It certainly has. And I'll tell you why. Why? It's the 4th of July. Because it's the 4th of July. How was your guys' 4th? Good? Okay, everybody's safe. Did anybody lose a finger playing with fireworks? I hope, I hope Did not. you ever know anybody in a fireworks accident? Uh, I they were illegal where I grew up. Uh, I didn't like know them personally, but there was like a guy in school. Really? That like had like something happen to his hand, got really hurt. Really? At one point, I think with a quarter stick or something. I heard like anybody who grew up with them like knows somebody who got yeah. who like blew off a finger or had some kind well, of stupid accident. I mean, some of them, usually the ones that you were allowed to have are really small. Like he got a quarter stick. I don't think they were legal. Right. And uh, that's what he hurt himself with. Because oh he was holding God. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I when bet. it went off. Okay. So it's like, okay, a dynamite goes off while you're holding it. Ugh. That's not going to go well. But I've yeah. never, I've, I don't think I've ever held even like a sparkler. Really? Yeah. Just, it, they were just not around hmm. when I was growing up. And then when I was old enough to actually do it, you kind of like go to the fireworks and do like your own adult thing. You're not like, wee, yeah. playing with them, you know? Yeah. Now I kind of want to set off some fireworks. I'm okay. not going to lie. Let's set off some fireworks. Let's I know. See. We went to go see some fireworks. We brought T.O. and Brother Otter, who I just realized combo. maybe. Is he B.O.? The O combo. B.O.? What? The Otter combo. The Otter combo. Well, uh, he's Brother Otter, though. Do we call him B.O.? You can call him Bo. Bo. But then we'd have, we can't have T.O. and Bo. We'd have to have Toe and Bo. We'd call Tyler Otter 2. Two, but then we had two and boo. I feel like they have to run. No, but they'd be two and bow. Because you're not going to call them toe. <laughs> two There's no solution boo. to this. I know there has to be, but I just, I'm trying to get away from B.O. And I've been thinking about it. I'm like, oh no, because we call Toddler Otter uh, T.O. all the time. Yes. And then we have Brother Otter who would be B.O. And yes. I don't want him to be B.O. Well, I guess he's B.O. Maybe he's Bo. I think it's just B.O. That's terrible. No, it's not. It's fine. What a horrible stain on his character. He smells lovely. <laughs> he smells nice. Although, you're not going to believe what Matthew did last night at the fireworks. <laughs> we took them to the fireworks. I got to tell yeah. him what you did. I got to tell okay. him what you did. So, right. we go to the fireworks and they have some food trucks out and things like that. You know, like funnel cake and cotton candy and stuff. So, Maddie goes, oh my God, fried Oreos. So, I'm like, yeah, go get them. So, he goes and gets them, brings them back. Anybody who's had fried Oreos, you know how amazing they are and how they're covered in like this much powdered sugar. Right, just like like a mountain, you know, of powdered sugar. So uh, we're trying to balance them. We've got the baby in the stroller and all this. Matthew balances the fried Oreos on the little handle there that push it, and they flipped onto the baby, onto the baby, o onto his feet, onto yes. his feet. But just also, <laughs> not exactly the face, but yes. It was, <laughs> it was, it was honestly it was a bigger problem that it made a mess. Like it just he just even knows. Just, I was worried they were just, hot. They weren't hot. They were yeah. fine. But like, yeah, like I had it balanced there and it was fine. But when I picked up one of the Oreos, like that counterbalance went off and it was went like, boo. The no. other way. And I was like, oh. is that what happened? Yes. No. I pick one up and then it just flopped because it, was, I didn't know it that's seemed what perfectly happened. stable at the time. Oh. And then I did it. And I'm like, oh no, oh no. And I thought they were hot. And Lissy's just looking at it going, Huh. <laughs> and I'm like, is this, I was like, come ah. on, you're holding cotton candy, just like, yeah. Huh. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. He yeah, was fine. It, it turned out fine. But yeah. he had sticky feet the rest of the time. But um, T.O. saw fireworks for the first time. Yes, he did. Which was nice. I've been mm -hmm. dying to do that. But we got back really, really late because, of course, you know, everybody was driving there who was driving there. You know, you get all caught on the way out and the cops are out and they're directing people. So it took us about 20 minutes to get home, 20, 25 minutes when it yeah. should have taken us about. Five. It's about a ten minute drive normally. Yeah, and, but that's uh, yeah, okay. it took us about twenty five minutes. Yeah. But yeah, well, yeah that's part of it. Late, you know, go to a show everything. that always happens. Yeah, yeah, you know? for sure. So you know, he had a fun night. He had a fun night. He saw fireworks. He liked them. He watched them. Yeah, wow. he was. Wow. Yeah, so yeah, he, really he, he really liked it. But yeah, we have a lot to talk about. Moving on. I have been dying to tell you about this all week. I saw this. Did you? I saw this. Did you see the video? No, I did not see the oh video. Oh my God, okay. I just saw that this happened. Yes, okay. So this video was going around this week of this woman here who opened up a blue, be blue bell, which is so good, blue bell, amazing. Opened up the ice cream and licked it and closed it and put it back, right? So, oh no, this isn't the video, okay. So, oh, There's a link the to footage. the footage. Okay, here we go, the footage. The footage. All right, look at this. What kind of psychopathic behavior is this? Lick it, lick it. Oh, you foul. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Oh, you, you are a whole nigga. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's, uh. That is disgusting. That's, 
disgusting. Come on. And I know. <laughs> really? I know. Of all the things, like... And she's facing up to 20 years in prison for it. Well, for tampering. Yeah. That Whenever you see this stuff on... um. Like, it makes a really good headline yeah. when they default to only telling you what the maximum sentence is that nobody's going to get. Yeah. It always happens. Like, That's you can face true. up to 100 years for looking this person in the eye, and then it yeah. comes back, and it's like, oh, yeah, I got five minutes in this <laughs> yeah. But, like, <laughs> it's just not going to be 20 years. No. But I think it's, like, 2 to 20. Oh. Uh, so, like, yeah. she can still have multiple years in prison for doing this. That's, yeah, their uh, charge tampering? comes with a 2 to 20 year prison term yeah. and up to $10,000 in fines. So, I wonder Seriously, if she'll just get fined. So gross. I want to know it'll just be like a fine and like a, that was stupid because I'll bet like the two to 20 years, it's the, the, the actual offense is tampering with the consumer product. Right, right. Which leaves a lot of space to do it things does. significantly worse. Yeah. You know, that's she really could have, bad. She like, infected somebody. Oh, yeah. It, like, is, it is extremely bad. You but, know? like, I should not get 20 years. No, she's not. I should not, not get a $10,000 fine. She's not. She should totally be fined. Yeah, she'll be fine, Absolutely. though. Yeah, if I she went to fine. jail, I'd be like, all right. If she went to jail, know? I'd be like, you're going to need two years in jail for licking ice cream. I know. <laughs> I, mean, I know. Fine, fine her out the ass. Yeah, yeah. Really, make her because feel that is. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you got to make her feel it. You got to make her feel it. That oh, is terrible. So but gross. you know what's really interesting is Bluebell saw the video. Yeah. And Bluebell from the video found the store and pulled their all of their products out. And Bluebell was like, we found the store. We pulled all of Tin Roof. You well, see they how had it says to, Tin you Roof? Know, it's interesting. Like, when I think about it they now, you mentioned that. It. They had to do that. Or everybody would have been like, mm-hmm. maybe it was my store and my Bluebell. I'm not going to buy any of them. And they right. were just oh, stuck yeah. in the shelves. So That's it actually really helps yeah. for them to be like, we got it. We know they where it was. Totally... Everybody can go buy Bluebell like, like no problem. Oh my gosh. Yeah, wow. they said, what kind of what kind of ice cream is it actually? <laughs> Vanilla ice cream, swirls of chocolate fudge, and dark chocolate covered roasted peanuts. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, I really like to eat that, please. That sounds really good. Just not good. the one that she liked. That sounds really good. But um, yeah, they the were saying- The specific carton believed to be compromised was found among the lot. Okay. Oh. oh, so they found it. So they took them all out. Yes, And then yes. figured out which one it was from there. Right, right, okay. right. Wow, they said the company explained its cartons are frozen upside down in production. I've always wondered this, which creates a natural tight seal by freezing the lid to the tub, meaning that consumers would notice if any tampering occurred upon opening a fresh tub. Yeah, because so when you, when you when open you a tub, there, like, it sticks. Yeah, so yeah. if it's not sticking, you're like, somebody's been in here. Yeah, yeah. I, I would. if it didn't stick, if I got in the store and yeah. I didn't get and that just stick, straight off? Yeah, yeah, I'd be I'd like, be what happened? Yeah, yeah I'd be and, Oh, wow. But the same thing, I wouldn't have thought of that, though. I would have thought it just melted a little bit. Maybe. You know, I would have been like, oh, it's, it was I a warm draw car home. ride home. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, wow. Hmm. I don't know. But that is like, who would do that? That is That's really, really disgusting. Yeah. And I don't know. As of today, I mean, it's Friday. It's the 5th. I don't know if they found her or whatever, but I know that they were really narrowing it down. They have pictures of them on surveillance, walking in and out. They're like, here's the couple, <sighs> Man, you know, I, it and found like, them. But it would have been ugh. better if she just took a handful because you would have opened it up and be like, Clearly, this is tampered with. But, yeah. like, if you do that, you just don't know it's and you disgusting. could go home with it. That's really freaking terrible. I know. Oh, so it's gross. gross. All right. So, uh, you know, they've been doing live action Disney movies now, yeah. right? And they've been actually pretty good. Yeah. Although um, Dumbo, I heard, was kind of Dumbo didn't met. do too great. I yeah. saw that starting to pop I up. I didn't watch on it, so I can't TV say personally, bit. but the reviews weren't particularly good. Right. For that, same. As compared good to the other ones, you right, know? Right, right. But right. they're doing Little Mermaid now, and they've announced who's going to be Ariel. It's going to be mm-hmm. Halle Bailey. And I think you were. You were reminding me that we saw her, wasn't it her and her sister or right, something? Right. Do I have a band? And mm-hmm. they were really cool. Chloe and Hallie, or it says like Chloe X Hallie. I don't even know how you say it. Chloe and Hallie. Chloe and Hallie, I yeah, guess. I guess it's Chloe and And Hallie. I remember seeing them, I remember being like, who the hell are these? Like, they were good. They're freaking super impressive. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so that's, I was like, oh my gosh, now she's into movies, I guess now. So mm-hmm. there we have our new Ariel. But wow, people that's are, so cool. a lot of people are mad. They are. A lot of people like, are mad really? about this. I mean, today and yesterday, I just saw this come out yesterday. Yeah. That people were saying that she was going to be Ariel. And I was like, oh my gosh. And within like six hours, yeah. there was a not my Ariel yeah. thing, hashtag going on because I guess she's not white. Because she's know. not white, yeah. It's it's funny because it, I didn't realize till later when you told me because you told me in passing that she was going to be Ariel. Mm-hmm. You're like, remember, remember Chloe and Haley we saw, blah blah. Well, one of them's going to be Ariel in the live action Little Mermaid. Like, oh right. wow, cool, wow, good for her. And I didn't like think about it until I got on Twitter and people were being like, "Why is she white?" It's like, oh, like, but it's not. It's just not where my head went first. No, I mean, especially because in 
the Disney Little Mermaid version. Mm -hmm. She's in like the Caribbean. She's with a Jamaican crab. Yeah. She's the question is why she why they're listening to Calypso. I know. You know, it's like of course they're gonna be like think about it. Yeah. It it makes sense with their story. But some people are saying that the original story, the Hans Christian Andersen, I believe, Mm -hmm. I might be wrong about that. Okay. uh, Is like a Norwegian. Okay. Something like one of those countries. So Disney already messed with it. So by that point. Yeah. They already they already relocated put it. Different region, yeah. You know, okay. they probably did it for Sebastian. Come on, yeah. Under, I know. Under the sea, <laughs> yeah. We've all heard that song, right? Exactly. I know. Yeah. So I mean, I was like, oh, cool. That makes sense. Yeah. But I saw maybe like last week they were talking about that Melissa McCarthy is in talks to play Ursula. Ursula. Yeah. And I was like, oh, how cool. Yeah. But then some other people were saying, well, wait a minute. Like Ursula was modeled off of Divine, the drag queen. Yeah. And. Maybe we should have a drag queen play Ursula, which I think would be awesome. I think way too or, many people are just looking for like this has got to be exactly what Disney oh, did the first time, sure. or yeah, it's yeah. not good. Yeah, and like it doesn't have to be. Yeah, they're the, branching. Yeah, you can. They're we branching. just try yeah. some different looks on it. It's probably going to be very similar. Uh, yeah. No matter <laughs> yeah. what happens, you know, it's yeah, not going to be point. that different. It's going to mm-hmm. feel like the Little Mermaid. We know if Disney has done anything. Uh, if we could say they've done anything with these live action movies, maybe not Dumbo, I didn't see it. Yeah. But the ones that I've seen was they were very true to feeling like you were watching the original. Oh, right. And they yeah. had like a new flavor to it, a little bit like sure. a little bit gritty, a little darker, mm. but it still felt like it. They had the songs in there sort of sometimes right. slipped in. Yeah. So I, I don't doubt this is just gonna feel like the Little Mermaid. Yeah. You know, let's just see how it turns out. I don't know, they don't I think do it's cool. Disney is not they they have a pretty good reputation for casting. Yeah, they do yeah. that job. They pretty usually well. wind up like it winds up working. Yeah, we didn't see Aladdin. I'm I think they've heard of the benefit of the Aladdin. doubt. Yeah, you know. Yeah, of course we keep talking about Dumbo. Yeah, we haven't you know? seen Dumbo. Yeah, and we keep talking about Dumbo, but and that's Will like Smith, the one thing that's sticking out. People were saying the same thing about Will Smith and Aladdin. We didn't see Aladdin didn't either. Didn't see Aladdin. So I don't know. I mean, we've seen a couple of them. Mm-hmm. Maybe three, three of these or so. Saw Jungle Book. Saw, saw um, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty saw Cinderella. Yeah. And then any of the other ones. I don't know. Like if they pop up on Netflix, we're like, yeah. hey, you know, yeah, pop it on, yeah. But sure, uh, I don't. And then Lion King just came out, but that's CGI. But I don't know. Like you said, I, I give them the benefit of the doubt. I mean, I feel like they know what they're doing. But you know what? I was seeing on Twitter, some people were talking about other options for Ursula. Somebody said Lizzo, which I Lizzo. love. Love. I, I, I think Lizzo the, uh, would be amazing. Harvey Harvey Feinstein. Feinstein. <laughs> Feinstein. Harvey, oh, with Harvey Feinstein. De- <laughs> yeah, it's with totally, the, with the deep voice. totally Ursula to me. Yeah. Harvey Feinstein. Or, or Firestein. 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 Is it Firestein? Yeah. I thought I it was Feinstein. So. Really? Feinstein. I have no idea. He's got the voice. He kind of talks. He's got the voice. Kind of talks. You know what we're talking about? Yeah. Come on. That's yeah, an that Ursula voice. Good. I know. Come on. But I think Lizzo. I think Lizzo would be amazing. Firestein. Feinstein. But it's Firestein. It's gonna bug me. Moving on. Moving on. All right, now it's time for what you watching. What you watching? All right, one of the cool things I watched over the past week was the iPad only challenge on Marquez Brownlee's channel. If you don't know Marquez Brownlee, I don't know who you are because he's got 8.8 million subscribers. He's a on lot the front of people page, like, like him. every other day. Yeah, he's, he's trending all page. the time. Yeah, uh, but he's a he's a tech blogger and it's one of the best, if not the best one. Um, he's probably my favorite. Yeah, we have him Just, on a good bit. Yeah, because he's like short and sweet to the point. I like And him. he covers cool stuff and he actually explains it all very thoroughly and very succinctly. So you can get in and get out. You know, sit there listen to somebody mm. prattle on for 40 minutes. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and it's um and it's yeah. really well produced. So yeah. he, he does a very good job. Uh, and he did a really interesting video. I thought it was very interesting. If you're into tech, you might. Uh, he was decided to only use the iPad Pro instead of a laptop for two weeks while he was traveling and doing all his stuff. He Whoa. wasn't going to touch the laptop at all because they had recently made an update to the iOS software, which really gave it a lot of desktop functionality, like an actual file organizer and file browser, a desktop browser, not a mobile browser, wow. like a desktop class browser, um, because the iPad Pro is very popular for having great hardware. It just didn't yeah. have the functionality of the OS behind it. So okay. they made some changes and he used it for two weeks and had a lot of really interesting things to say about the experience because he uses it for work, right? So it has to work okay for him. And certain things were great, certain things not so great, but oh, it seemed like the biggest problem was typing. If you ever had to do a lot oh, of typing, God. that was a big thing. That Just typing on a tablet mind. sucks. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's funny. As you're explaining, I'm thinking like, oh, typing. I wonder if that's had, really it. Didn't that, have, like, that, that seemed to be the anything. thing that really stuck out. When he had to write a lot of emails, oh, do a lot of typing, that was a big pain. But when he had to do editing, 
like photo editing oh, or video editing with a stylus. It was like really oh, great. Oh, stylus. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that so helps. That, that would, apparently is very miserable. good for that. But uh, wow. yeah, if you're interested in that sort of thing, links in the description. Go give it a look and let me know what you think. Yeah. Okay, this week I was watching the Bottle Cap Challenge. You see this? You hear about this? Yeah, it's been going about uh, Twitter. Going about Twitter. It's been going about oh Twitter. Oh my gosh, been going about Twitter. But it's when it started with this Taekwondo champion over here where somebody holds a bottle. Look at this. Or you get a bottle. That is unbelievable. Look at that. Good lord. Yeah, that's amazing. Like, why? How? Like, I could never... I would kick that person in the face. <laughs> I really... Like, there well, would be teeth all over the ground. We're not martial artists, Lizzie. No, but it went all the way around. Look, like, here's Jason Statham. Yeah. Well, he, 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 of he course knew was Statham do can do it. And now they're challenging each other Yeah. to do it. That is, like, unbelievable. How are you... So I just see, you can see how he aimed with his hand before he spun. Which I thought was interesting. Really? Yeah. Like go back to the beginning. It looks like he like he like oh, starts we'll like he like set a target with his hand. Really? Yeah. Let me see when it goes back around. Face. <laughs> oh, not watch again on Instagram. Hold <laughs> oh, on. you couldn't rewind it? No. Oh, okay. Never mind. I wouldn't have told you to do that. You. All right, let's see. With his with his left hand, yeah. He's like, let's oh, like that. Oh, oh, you're right. You're right. And then he follows that same same exact arc, really. Huh. You're right. Pretty impressive, but it's wow. Jason Statham, so he what knows what's up. What an interesting thing to pick up. What I an never would have picked stuff. I never would have picked that up. Here's Conor McGregor. Of course, of course Conor, Conor McGregor, McGregor could do, do it. it. He but shaved he does, off his beard. I think he does a jump jumping kick as well. Did at least he, he has really? a hop to it. Yeah. He has a hop to his wind up. I thought this was like so crazy. Oh, he's holding his whiskey. Of course, he's, he's gonna he's do it with his whiskey in his hand. Oh my gosh. Did he really jump? He did jump. It was just oh, to oh, the oh. wind, yeah. Jeez. Oof. Look at the, li the liquid in it. Like, did yeah, hardly move. Yeah, the liquid barely moved. Oh, I think that's my even God. more impressive. Wow, the, the liquid just went like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Or just as impressive. Like, you know, you barely... Yeah. You touch it just enough to barely even jump and jiggle it. That's amazing. But now it's going around Twitter, and it's been awesome. Yeah, John, John Mayer, Mayer did, did it. I didn't know he could do Look this. Look at John Mayer. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way. How? And then I'm thinking, like, is this just... What the heck? Like, yeah. is this just something people can do? You know what I mean? It's I like, know. does it... Can everybody do this? And Ryan Reynolds put a video up on YouTube uh, yesterday of him just, like, kicking the bottle completely <laughs> over like, and then leaving. Of so I was like, thank you. That's yeah. the rest of us. And I'm like, I, I can't do it. Yeah. It was making me feel like everybody could do it. But, you know, I thought it was cool. Okay, it's time for the subreddit of the week. And uh, this week is thanks. I hate it. <laughs> I found it this week. T I H I. Yes, it's got, T -I -H -I. A, it's got an acronym now. Yes. Okay. And T -he. it's <laughs> T not Thai High. We not had this -hi. conversation earlier. Yes. But I like T Thai He. Tai you really want to throw people off. <laughs> T Thai. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's terrible. Yeah. It's okay. really bad. Because you know the meme, thanks, I hate it, of course. Yes. Where it's something that's just like really weird and kind of like, ugh, and you're like, ah, thanks for showing me that. I hate it. I can't get it out of my head. Yeah, this sounds like it's going to be really enjoyable. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, you know what? I got up. stuck in like a like a hole again, yeah. Yeah. just going through the whole subreddit. And it's it's really funny, but it's yeah. kind of like, ugh, right? <laughs> so top of all time, like okay. usual, thanks, I hate chocolate ramen noodles. When Spotify tries to make me a daily mix, that's oh. that's what mine sound like. What? Yeah. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah, the daily mix is, yeah. It is everywhere. They hardly work out. They work out like about 25% of the songs on it. Like, I'll be like, skip, skip, skip. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Skip, yeah. skip, skip. Oh, okay, that's a good one. <laughs> I know. I, I don't I say, And I try them I every time disagree. anyway. I'm like, let's try a daily mix. See what Spotify has in exactly, store. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, look at this. Roll Thanks. Dice. I hate med vegetables. Arby's has flipped the vegan meat trend on its head with a vegetable. A carrot made or meat vegetable. A carrot made out of turkey that looks and tastes almost exactly like the vegetable. Vegetable, vegetable, vegetable. That's, That's disgusting. What's with that texture there? A carrot made out of turkey. What is that? That texture? looks and tastes almost exactly like the vegetable. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You took a turkey. Yeah. And made and it taste like a it, carrot. And you made it look and taste like a carrot. Yeah. You tried as hard as you could to make it something completely different. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Who who actually been like? I'm gonna make a turkey I turn into a carrot. This I, I doubt this is real, but I'm just saying. But now get good luck getting that out of your head. You know. <laughs> Thanks. I hate Chewbacca teats. Me. Do you think Chewbacca has pecs or a trail of tiny teats like a piglet? Uber driver. Why do you sit in the front? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but I oh, think. Oh God. I think he has tiny teats like a piglet. You think he has a trail of them. Like a cat. <laughs> 
But then we'd kind of see them because like any animal that has like the teats down yeah. like this, yeah. they always kind of peek out sometimes. You're right. And we don't see. It would be obvious. It would be, be obvious. obvious yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How little was supposed to find them? Oh my God. You it's know? so funny when Louie's like this and sometimes a little nip is out and you're like, oh, look at your nip. I <laughs> see your nip nips. Does anybody else do that? Oh my God. <laughs> we can't be the only ones that do that. We're like, oh. We. Why are you using the word we? I don't do that. <laughs> you're right, you don't. <laughs> Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Thanks. I hate elastic cucumber. Watch this. First of all, that's a very impressive small cut, is it not? Now look at this. Look, look, look. Yeah. It is a very impressive. That could be taking a long time. But I why? Know, don't you hate that? Why? Just to make something terrible? Like yeah. that? Why don't you use your powers for good? I like this one. We saw this before. Thanks, oh, I hate Tarzan. Look at this one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Here's the sand. How, what is that how hand? Is he possibly? That's exactly. That's the only. On that's the only solution <laughs> there. <laughs> no, I think you see it. No, you see it as. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. You see it as toes. He's got it with his toes right there. But he still has to be wedged. Look, they accounted for that. Look. They did. You're right. He's got to get it. It's in his butt cheeks. <laughs> He's hot. Ketchup is a liquid made from a fruit and contains 20% sugar. That makes it a soda. Some people are demanding that sodas require carbonated water. I guess that makes ketchup a sports drink like Powerade. A liquid made from a fruit and contains 20% sugar. It's a soda. You get carbonated ketchup. Yeah, it's actually kind of hard to make that hard to argument. argue with. Like I'm looking at it, I'm like, nah. And the more I think about it, I'm like, wait a minute, a liquid? That's gross, yeah. Made from a fruit and 20% sugar. It's so gross. But normally, is, is soda really liquid made from a fruit though? Is that like a... I mean... Yeah. Or are we just saying that liquid that has 20% sugar is a soda? It depends on the soda. But that is a weird concept. I know. That's really gross. I don't like it. I know. I Th that, it. That's this entire subreddit. Yeah. Okay, so for trailers this week, there's hardly any movie trailers out. We're in the middle of the summer. Yes. So I looked up some gaming trailers and found out that a Cuphead teaser trailer came out. And I'm we missed so it. freaking excited. We missed yeah. it. It was just a couple of days ago, so yeah. at least not that much time went by. Yeah. But, um, oh my God, we have to play this. Oh, I can't wait. I, like, I loved Cuphead. Cuphead, you know, it's I fantastic. tried to play Cuphead, those of you who were around. I think I tried to play a little bit. I just, oh. Except I didn't realize, oh. like we, we did a full playthrough right between YouTube and Twitch. Right. And I didn't realize we were when we were playing it that we started out two players and then eventually you would just like die. I You're like, like, oh, keep bye. going. But I didn't realize that that made the level harder. So I was oh, playing on right. hard mode for the rest of the level. That's right. Because I was enough. like, oh man. The game's hard enough. Oh my God. No I way. loved it though. Loved it. I threw in the towel. I would I play was it like, all why? over again. I would played you? all over. Totally would. But it I can't wait. Great. Don't have to because DLC's coming complete oh new gosh. stuff. Let's see. Let's see. I'm so excited. All right. Fantasy violence. Like, what game has more style than this? Oh my god, I love it. it. Might be my favorite one stylistically. Look at that. Cornucopia. Oh my god. It's gonna that's be it, amazing. That's, it. that's all we're getting. That's ah. all we're getting. 2020. Oh, that's right. It was delayed. We saw it was that delayed. it was delayed. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm okay with, but like, I'm look always at this okay with it being delayed as long as it's good. Yeah. I'd rather it come out later and it's good. Look at this. Yeah, like, I just can't it's wait. It's unbelievable. I love the concept of the game is basically all boss fights. Yeah. You know, with the exception of some of those flying levels. Yeah. No, there were some levels thrown in there, but they, they were the exception. Most of them were boss fights. Yeah. It's just like, look at this. Like, you could print that and put it on your wall. It's amazing. Yeah. I just, ugh. Ugh, I remember I when wait. this was first announced it, years it. ago as uh, um, I think it was Microsoft E3 conference because it mm -hmm. was like a Microsoft Studios game. Okay. If I remember correctly. Um, but it, it, they showed off that uh, animation years before it finally came out. That's right. And I remember That's everyone right. being like, where's this game Cuphead? Where right. is it? We never, we, It never came out That's and it so looked good. like it was going to be amazing. And when it finally did, yeah, I mean, nobody was disappointed. Oh, it was geez. fantastic. I so loved good. that. One of my favorite games of that year. Yeah. And I can't wait for the DLC. Okay, so while I was also looking at gaming trailers, I saw that there was a Stranger Things 3, the game, yeah. trailer that came out. And Stranger Things 3 just came out yesterday, and I am dying to watch it. Yep. So, like, we have got to find time. But we're going to uh, the beach next week, mm -hmm. so there won't be a BS on... I'm getting off track. There won't be a BS on the internet next week because we'll be at the beach, but hopefully we could watch Stranger Things while we're gone. Yeah. Because um, we're not going to have time to watch any of it, I doubt it, before we leave. No. Because we're going to be like front loading for the channel. We'll be editing and doing a lot of recording yeah. and editing, and you know we'd like to stream. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. A game? That's cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see. I'm, I'm very curious. Okay, 
when yeah. I saw it, I'm like, oh, I gotta know. I don't know what kind of game it's gonna be. I don't know what system it's gonna be for. We didn't look up anything about it, but I mean, we all know the track record of either movies or or games that hey, become. Hey, this could uh, be the one to change everything. <laughs> we say that every time. That'll don't be we? it. You never know. Yeah. All right, let's Maybe do it. Maybe somebody cracked the code. Fantasy violence again. Switch. A switch game. Oh my god. Oh my god, that reminds me of the Friday 13th NES game that map. Oh, oh well, it's the like music. A, so it's kind of like a beat em up, but it looks more like. I wonder if it's like an action RPG kind of thing. I'm hoping. Yeah, that just said plus 70 health, plus 70 health. So it looks like there's like some buffs on it. Yeah. And obviously multiplayer. All right, this Black looks materials. cool, though. Belching Belching champion, champion to craft character upgrades. There it is. Yeah, this actually looks pretty neat. It's con the art style is consistent with the time period, though, in the games that would have been out. Yeah. It looks exactly like Theme Hospital. Anyone yes. play Theme Hospital? Demogorgon. Hey, I think that's really cool. Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised it looks... That looks like a lot of fun. What's the, uh, the ratios on I this? I might play that. Look at that. Oh, not a lot of people watch it. Yeah, uh, that's true. 742. But still. Okay, that's not a bad ratio. No. Not a bad ratio. I think that's pretty cool. That looks, I don't know. I'm actually I interested. I I'm feel pleasantly good about surprised. That. Yes, I'm yes. pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I feel good about that. It looks fun. Yeah. I think I might try it. All right, guys, that was this episode of BS on the Internet. Mm -hmm. We will not have one next week. Don't forget. I know. Enjoy but, your week, guys. Yes. We'll fill you in when we get back. We'll do an extra Yeah, we'll do a little, we'll do a two weeker the yeah. following week. Yeah. And uh, if you want to know anything more about what we talked about, links are in the description. Yes. Don't forget to watch us on Twitch. My balls just went up inside my body. And if you like this video, mm -hmm. please support us on Patreon. Click like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, bye. Bye.